Guys, from the story, Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today, we are going to finish up a series that could have been something good turn out to be something shitty. Well, technically, this is only halfway through the the series. Okay, we're doing the La Union. This one is uh, for Tatuaje. Apparently, there's also a red box. We went through the black box after this one. So hopefully it's good because the previous one wasn't so. Alright. So let's take a look at the cigar. Alright, obviously the cigar is seven and a quarter by fifty double corona with the 109 style cap, they want to call it. All right. Uh for those um people that's watching this right now and actually watch the the other one. It's that it's pretty much the same thing with, with, with a different wrapper. Okay, sixty dollar per cigar. The same thing for either or. So it's that price right now is dropping like to like forty dollars for sure. And the my father for Tatuaje uses the Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, but this particular cigar, as opposed to the Nicaraguan Corojo ninety nine wrapper for the my father by Tatuaje. And instead of the Nicaraguan Corojo ninety nine, they use the Ecuadorian Habano. Okay. On the sound of it, it's going to be nice. Wrapper looks nice, chocolatey, uh, pretty smooth with a minor blemish. And uh, the band towards has a yellow, um, like more of a black theme compared to the other one. It's like a more of a yellow hue. And uh, uh, the, the, the theme is more of a gold theme. I suppose the other one was more like a black theme. So, of course, tattoo eyes, tattoo, black. So now, of course, it's time to smoke the cigar. So... <sighs> Fermenty, woodsy, tobacco. Like when you walk into a tobacco factory, that door opens, that smell. Fermented tobacco. Smells pretty good. Woodsy. Let's go. I'm like kind of not in my groove today. Because I feel like I just went through a lot of information today. A lot of information. We'll try to sort out all, all the stuff that's from Dominican for you guys. But the, just the first day, just a conversation part alone, not the touring anything. It's three, three and a half hours, four hours. Long of information. And obviously, no one's going to go for four hours. So I'm going to trim it down. <clears throat> Mushroom. Wood. Leather, earth. Basically, if you're running on a backyard and you guys have some portobello mushroom and you fell on it, that's how it tastes like. <laughs> no. Go and go and go and round. Well, actually, this is not bad. This is not bad. Pepper. Wood. A little bit saltiness. Mm. 
A little bit of coffee. Mineral. Eh, earthiness. Huh? A little bit of acidity. Mustiness. All right, pretty good. Now, the hard part is smoke through one third of this Churchill. Be right back. First third. Not too bad. I, I think a lot better than the tattoo I hit from my father version. This is one of those things that a rapper can really change up things. Spicy, peppery, chocolatey, woodsy, a little bit musty, a little bit earthy, mineral. It's actually pretty good. It's a long cigar, but... It gets fruit. Oh. Also, pour the barrel mushroom. Or mushroom. You want to call that. Um, there is a little bit of sweetness somewhere here and there, too. But it's not crazy enough to, to say, ooh, it's sweet. Because the pepper is kicking through all this time, so. Not too bad. Not, not a bad cigar. Not a bad cigar. But while we're at it, since we're into the second, third. Here's the first band. I think it's kind of confusing because the My Father for Tattoo Our Head, Tattoo Our Head for My Father. It's, uh, it's actually the opposite, <laughs> right? Tattoo Our Head for My Father is actually Tattoo Our Head first. Tattoo his version. And my father's for Tattoo is my father's version. So this is the my father's version for Tattoo right? There you go. Gold band. I like that. Better than the black band. In my opinion. So good stuff. But at $60? Nope. Nope. Uh right now it starts at 20, 21. So second there. Be right back. Alright, so second third. Pepper ran up, string ran up. Medium plus to full right now. A little bit more saltier. More peppery. Has an after note of sweetness. Woodsy. Oh, that pepper hurts my nose a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Strong cigar now. Musty. It's an enhanced version of the first there. Stronger, more heavy. Uh, but it does with that. Also, there was a bitterness that got heavier. It's not very bitter, but it does have a little bit of that going on. Chocolate still there. Still chocolatey. Still chocolatey. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Second third, not bad. Not, not bad right now, really not bad right now. Just the pepper ramped up. Hurts my nose. So if this pepper wasn't there, it would be a very enjoyable cigar. But right now, that pepper, a lot of people like it. For me, tad more strong, tad too strong. Tad, just like a little bit more. If it's just... Mellow up just uh, half a notch or something like that. You want to hurt my nose that much. Then I think um, the second third is golden. Second third is golden. Very good. Very good cigar right now. All right. So yeah. All we have is last third now. Right now. String ramped up. Flavor ramped up. With a little bit of more pepper. And appearance of some bitterness in terms of the value i think it's about the same if not just a tap less uh because of strength i'll give it even that still have around 19 maybe 19 19 19 so let's see how last there do it is getting heavier i gotta slow down but we'll see where that goes yeah, back. All right, last third. So last third string ramped up all the way to fall. Easily fall. 
easily full. Um, but flavor kind of more concentrated rather than having multiple more flavor. It's just mushroomy, coffee, cocoa, and pepper, woodsy. But still a lot of flavor. Still a lot of flavor. I wouldn't say that died down, but it's more concentrated on individual note than multiple elements of notes. It's way better than the Tatuaje version. So I, I think I can stay at 19. 19 is what I think the cigars deserve. Strength is what dropped from 20 to 19 because that it really ramps up. It really ramps up the, the, uh, the strength really quickly. So uh, it's an enjoyable cigar. So if you slow down and really enjoy the cigar slowly, you're going to get a lot out of it. So 19. Now, why is it not 60? I don't, I don't think it's got something that in here where I go, wow, this cigar, I need to smoke another one tomorrow or immediately after that. It doesn't make me feel that way. So it's not 60. Now, I know the prices um, out, out there has dropped out to 40 and stuff like that. And chances are even they can drop down to 30 if nobody buys it. Because I think most majority of people will smoke the tattoo around first and then just kind of, ah, it's not really worth it. So the, the correct price range should be that. Now, do they have a beautiful box to, to back up that price? Yeah, but when you're buying singles, well, five pack, you're not you're not getting that box. You're not getting that box, right? So a twenty dollar range, people will buy that box and, and and everything that goes with it. Even twenty bucks is is quite a bit for that box. You know, uh, what? It's a forty cigars. It's eight hundred dollars. Uh, that. 40 cigars? Yeah, 40 cigars, $800. That's still a lot for that box. So, and, and given that I only got to smoke half of it, that's where the range is. Kind of for me. All right. So yeah, that that will be, I can recommend this one. If you got you got to smoke one, just smoke the, the the My Father version because it's way better. And, and that makes me look forward to the Red Box because the Red Box has better wrapper, in my opinion, uh, by just looking at the stats on it. So, yeah, this is a $19 cigar to me. Strength is very high. Flavor consistent. Uh, consistently output. The flavor, smoke output is good. Pretty much the majority of thing on there is giving out that $20, $19 range of consistency. Consistency, okay? So, good cigar. Not too bad. I like it. Now, here's a band. Very dark, salmon looking color. Pretty cool, single double band, <laughs> single double band. So yeah, I like it, looks good, pretty good. All right, so that will be it for this particular review. I hope you like it. If you like it, like, subscribe, comment, uh, a share, join our hour, uh, subscribe, uh, subscription, that's a membership. Listen to our podcast. I have a lot, have a lot of DR stuff coming up. So, and literally right after this, I'm going to go edit the DR stuff. So, stay tuned. Watch out those. Make sure to, uh, you know, ring that bell so that when we release it, you get it right away, especially the members. All right. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. And of course, uh, with the strength being so strong, I forgot to tell you, make sure to also watch Smoke One if you have one. Eric's uh, version of that review, too. Mm -hmm. This might be not as strong for him, so maybe have better review. All right, bye again.